Welcome to NHK's Radio English Conversation Program. I'm Marcia Krakauer. Hi, everybody. I'm Jeff Clark. We're here to enjoy learning English together. Let's listen to multi ethnic soccer in Prospect Park. So, what are you up to this weekend? I'll be re editing all weekend again. You really need to get out more. Come on, let's do something. Well, I do always manage to squeeze in a weekly soccer game in Prospect Park. I didn't know you played soccer. It's exuberating. I wouldn't miss it for the world. In fact, it is a little piece of the world. Is this some international soccer league you're a part of? Oh, no. Strictly pick up. In fact, there's no officiating, no set times. How do you know when to start playing? It's hard to explain. It all just sort of happens as we show up. How do you know who your opponents are? You don't. Most of us don't know one another's names or speak the same language. Except the language of soccer. Sounds pretty neat. Mind if I tag along? Marco and Joel show up at Prospect Park. Joel calls out to someone he knows. Hey, Morocco! This guy really kicks for power. That's not his real name, is it? No, it's where he comes from. But that's how we identify each other. Hey, Manhattan, are you up for a game?、Uh, that's what they call me. <laughs> Ready when you are, Morocco! This reminds me of the old sports cliche about just being happy to play. It does have a distinctive feel. What's up? I'm Marco. Can you tolerate a newcomer? Sure, as long as you're willing to do what it takes to pass the ball. Things can get rough on the field. Still, it's more relaxing than being at work. That's because there are no interruptions. You can really focus. But all these different nationalities, doesn't it affect playing style? Eventually, you just have to find a middle ground. Sounds like an athletic United Nations. <laughs> on the contrary, we avoid politics at all costs. Then let's move along to the third week. Let's listen to the first part of Multi Ethnic Soccer in Prospect Park. So, what are you up to this weekend? I'll be re editing all weekend again. You really need to get out more. Come on, let's do something. Well, I do always manage to squeeze in a weekly soccer game in Prospect Park. I didn't know you played soccer. It's exuberating. I wouldn't miss it for the world. In fact, it is a little piece of the world. Good. Let's go on to the key expressions. Number one. I do always manage to squeeze in a weekly soccer game. 週一回のサッカーの試合にはなんとか都合をつけて必ず行くようにはしているんだけどね。I always manage to squeeze in a 何々。何々には都合をつけて必ず予定に組み入れています。と言って、多忙な生活の中で何とか欠かさずにやっていることを伝えられます。ここでは協調語の do を入れて、I do always manage to squeeze in a 何々。私は確かに何々は必ず都合をつけて予定に組み入れてはいます。と言っているわけですね。do は always の後に入れて I always do manage to squeeze in a 何々ということもできます。Exercise 1.1 二言か三言の助言は必ず何とか入れるようにはしています。A few words of advice. I do always manage to squeeze in a few words of advice. 2. 年に一度の家族で行くスキー旅行は必ず何とか都合をつけてはいます。年に一度のですから、annual。I do always manage to squeeze in an annual family ski trip. Key expression number two. I wouldn't miss it for the world. 絶対に休みはしないよ。Not 何々 for the world は決して断じて何々しないという意味です
I would not miss ten 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 for the world. 私は、えー、なんと引き換えにしても絶対にてんてんてんを休みはしない。てんてんてんの機会を逃しはしないでしょう。と言って、それがどれほど自分にとって大切なことか伝えています。ここでは for the world、つまり世界と引き換えにしてもと、まあちょっと現実には起こり得ないことを仮定していますので、would を使っているわけです。exercise 2 1兄の卒業式は絶対に欠席はしませんよ。彼らの最後のコンサートは絶対に見逃しはしませんよ。I wouldn't miss their final concert for the world.